But yeah, hey, if you watched the previous episode, you see the game finally dealt me some decent cards in the form of this legendary Nocturnal Hardened Sniper Rifle. Now, I first looked at this and said, okay, yeah, whatever. See if I can do something with this. But now I realize this is perfect. This is actually a really good weapon. Uh, I'm going to run some tests here. I wanted to find out exactly what kind of damage um, bonuses you got according to what time it is. So it is now just after noon. It's like half past noon. I'm going to wait... Uh, Three hours. Okay, I'm dubbing in this commentary. And the damage bonus is a little wonky. Right now you see it reads at 15, right? But you have to unequip it and then equip it again. And, um... To get, like, a, a proper reading on it. It's kind of weird. And you see that it briefly showed 46. I believe 46 is the default damage for this particular weapon. Okay, so now... It's at a paltry 15 in the middle of the afternoon. So it really does take a big hit in damage during the day. But as you move on over tonight, let's move it up to 6 o'clock here. And once again, you have to like unequip it and then equip it again. This is weird. I don't know why the game requires. And I'm standing up and actually putting the weapon in my hands to, uh, you know. Plus, I'm, you know, jumping up and down, patting my tummy and saying three Hail Marys. <laughs> and, um, there we go. Unequip it, equip it again, and it is now up to 30 damage. Okay, 30 damage at approximately 6 in the evening. Let's try it again. 7 in the evening, sorry. So let's wait three more hours. This will put us at 10 in the evening. And you can see that we didn't have to do any, you know, voodoo hex on it. It just automatically updated. It is now 69 damage. So, let's wait two more hours. Um, right before the magic hour of midnight. And it's still at 69. Let's get up. Put it in our hands. Say three Hail Marys. Rubber tummies, pat our heads, etc. And it is now at 92 damage. 92 damage. Okay, and I'm going to switch over to the map and show you what time it is. And it switched over to 92 damage because it just went past midnight. Okay, 12.01 a.m. And with further testing, I realized that it will stay at that damage rating until about 6 in the morning. Okay, 12 to 6. So that is the magic of this weapon. 92 damage. And if I take some Psycho, I can bump this up to 115. So let's take some Psycho. There we go, 115. So this is officially my most powerful weapon if I use it between the hours of midnight and 6 in the morning. So this is what we're going to go with. All right. And let's go back to live commentary. Boy, well, yeah, hey, thanks for joining me again. All right, let's play some more Fallout 4. Uh, 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 oh. Uh. All right, everyone is the... You want to go off and fight the war. Okay, you guys go ahead. I'm going to carry on with the Institute ending. Here we go. Institute ending, starting with the Synth Retention mission. We have to meet up with the Courser down at... Where is this Mr. Map? Mr. Map says it's way down here. We're not going to do this. I've been through this before. Um, this Courser is going to screw everything up. Completely screw it up. So I got a plan to completely leave him behind and take this mission on ourselves because we are going stealth people we are going stealth um this particular weapon here turned out to be fantastic this legendary that i picked up this nocturnal hardened sniper rifle does increasing amounts of damage as the night grows longer and less damage during the day this is um as i showed in the test earlier this can get up to 92 damage at at midnight okay and it will last till about six in the morning so we're going at night and we're going stealth on this mission all right and we do not want any dumbass npcs fucking things up pardon my french all right so that's what we're doing um this is my emergency loadout for close combat in case things things get heavy this uh great laser pistol i've had from the beginning um and this suppressed hardened piercing submachine gun that, that runs 45 cal ammo okay those are my two emergency close combat weapons all right and we're going with the sniper rifle and that is it we have some some shadowed gear 
I really regret leaving behind that pocketed shadowed chess piece. I should have brought it along just as an option, but I'm so used to dropping stuff just to reduce my carry weight that I didn't think about, you know, I can't use it now, but I can use it now, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so this is my gear. This is going to be the champion chameleon leather left leg makes you disappear when you're crouching and you're not moving. All right, so that's that. Let's go hire a birdie bird and get out to this is what we're going to do. I got me a great plan, okay? We've been to Fort Strong, all right? Now, Fort Strong is just south of our location. Our location is the Libertalia. The Libertalia is right there. And the course is going to try to hook up with us there. If we approach from the south, he's going to try to hook up with, with us there. What we're going to do is we're going to take the vertebrae to Fort Strong. And there's this bed right here. We've been there before. It's in a little shaft. We'll sleep in there and use that save as a jumping off point to take on the Libertalia. Then we're going to just simply swim across the bay here directly to the Libertalia. This will bypass the Corsair who is going to be waiting for us here and leave him behind and then we can stealth the whole area. That's the plan. Let's do it. Now, the question is, can I get a Birdie Birds? These guys are like really hot to trot here. Yeah, there's some action going on here. And they're dropping in BOS team members. That's really cool. They just drop in and no parachute or nothing. They're all on power armor. Okay, so Birdie Bird signal grenade. Hook that baby up. Down you go. Give me Birdie Bird or give me death. Add a boy. How much one of you guys? Taxi. Come on. There's that guy right there. Although, no doubt he's going to get involved. Because these guys just can't resist a good fight. Pick a fight with a mosquito if they could. Okay, action's over. Just, just come on over here and land and take us to where we want to go. Atta boy. strong please and step on it welcome aboard knight stand by for takeoff your minigun should be loaded and ready to fire good shooting sir setting her down at the target location Okay, we're boots on the ground, people. Shit, shit, shit. That looks like a Marlow Hunter. Indeedy, indeedy. Um, let's just let him go about his business. That's a... There's, there's nothing in it for us. Until Marlow Hunters start carrying around AK-47s. With a whack ton of ammo. And maybe some good gear. <laughs> There's no point in killing him. <laughs> I don't need the XP that badly. Atta boy, be on your merry way. Go hunt some Marlurks. This is intriguing. Let's see him. Go on the water route. Okay, you better not bother me while I'm taking a nap. Attaboy, go in the water. Okay, he's gone. Okay, that's us right there. Okay, like I said, uh, midnight is the magic hour. So we can sleep five hours at a time. It is 1.30 in the afternoon. Okay, here we go.
we are going for that green tug right there. That's your jumping off point. Let's take some uh, mysterious serum. Make us immune to the rats as we swim across. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going into stealth commentary here. I am thirsty and tired. This is time for Nuka Cola. And I'm hungry. <laughs> A little more. All right, like I said, I'm going into stealth commentary. Let's get hidden. Cycle. Water. It's on. First thing to go is that light. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until I go hidden before making a move. So, if it takes too long, I'll skip ahead. This is part of my plan. I don't want to rush things simply because I'm making a Making a video. Okay, now there's usually somebody right off to the right here. Sneak up here, there they are. No sign of them now. Okay, no sign of me now. Go back to the regular routine. Okay, here we go. Okay, now usually you come up here, don't you? Come on up. Come on, come on up for a stroll. Here we go. At a boy. Who's a good bad guy? Okay, and I didn't go into caution when I made the kill. That means that everybody in this area is clear. Or rather, this area is clear. Let's go check it out. Check everybody for grenades. I don't expect much in the way of good gear. Nothing there, nothing there. Two jet. worst part about this area is the only beds are on the Libertalia itself and you got to work up to the second or third floor to get to those beds and the second worst part is this guy with a fat man typically sitting right on this chair right there I don't know if like you can't see him from this distance or what but yeah he's the worst he can one shot you pretty much like you know from a great distance there's somebody right there. This is where we're going eventually. This little cabin here is immune to the fat man. If you can get in there, you got them dead to rights because you can snipe away. Okay, they're skitterish. They're skitterish. Okay, it's good. 
I know there's somebody back there I didn't loot. I can't be bothered looking for him. I would normally if I wasn't making a video. Calm. Everybody calm your tits. You there, who usually comes out on this little plank here. Come on out. Who's a good little bad girl? There you go. Add a girl. I'll take a dive into the water. There we go. <laughs> Come on in. The water's warm. Okay, so I immediately went to hidden again, so that means that this area is probably clear. There's a bed in there, but you can't use it. Um, this ammo box might have something. Shotgun shells. It's frequently shotgun shells. Okay, we're going up and over. Fatigued again. It's time for another. Uh, actually, what I'll do is I'll hotkey it. Take some damage. Pound back a cherry. Okay, we're getting to some close combat here. It's possibly a guy sleeping in there. Possibly. Although I don't hear him complaining. There's the fat man guy right there. He is a force to be reckoned with. Let's just check out this cabin here. It's clear. I just drank that because I want to get like I don't want to be tired, I don't want to like, provoke any diseases. <laughs> I'm tired of getting infection. I just did a practice run where I got infection again. Again. It's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. The game just wants to give it to me. Okay, first on the list, this guy here. Let's make sure we got some psycho happening. Psycho addiction. No, my psycho ran out. Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to do him in. How much, uh. Yeah, only 5% adrenaline. Yeah, I won't be able to do him in with a headshot. That means he's gonna be running around. But, like I said, this little place we're in now. Just short. Damn. Sometimes he re heals himself. He is. He is healing himself now. Okay, everybody's running around now. Legendary down there. This is great. This is exactly what I want. I want them running around so I can keep an eye on them. Okay, Raider Waster, you you are the man. Come on back out again. I don't know what they did, but um, I normally didn't do this, eh? This kind of, uh, oh shit, I forgot to do something. Yeah, watch my back. Okay, Fragmine, watch my back. Yeah. Going up in there. There he is. Did I get him? 
Hopefully. It's not over yet, though. Sometimes they take over as Fat Man, eh? We'll just pick it up. I'm the new Fat Man, yeah. That, that guy. Great. Got him. Yeah, watch those guys up there. Anybody like you? They're freaked out. They are totally freaked out. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Anybody? Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. See that? Did you see that? Fucker took over the fat man. You gotta watch that. It ain't over till the fat man sings. I'm actually getting sick. I can just barely see this legendary hair. I want to take care of this guy. This is the toughest guy. If I have to get in there, is it? I think there's two legendaries. Unless he healed himself too. Cycle still happening. Ten percent adrenaline. God dang it. Went back to his regular routine. It's gonna be harder to hit now. Okay, looks like we're going to have to get in there. Here we go. Okay, he's already mutated. Hang on, this is really important. I got some glare in the office here. One second. Okay, I'm back. I just blew a run doing this exactly this. I had to go in there close combat with this legendary, and we're playing cat and mouse on the on the on the stairs there. He kept crippling me. I kept you know whittling down his health, and he finally got me. Blew away 30 freaking minutes. And I can't hear anything. What's going on? There we go. Okay, he's down to it. He's down to it. And you ran out of health, didn't you? You ran out of stim packs. Come on out. Damn it. Got too excited. Come on out. Show you. Show yourself. Come on. One more shot. Okay, go back to your regular team. Rid every goals. Come on, go across there. Give me a shot. Come on, give me a shot. Here we go. I thought I could get him in between the slats there. That was too much to hope for. Got him. Great. And I instantly went hidden. That means this area is probably clear. That'd be great. Let's go for a little swim. Okay, I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to stick with the plan. Just as if there's still enemies there. This is what I would normally do. Once you get to this point, go into water, go around here, looking for this little ramp right here. <gasps> Come up here, go into. Oh, there's still somebody left. Still somebody left. Ok, 
could go over here. He might be there. Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? <laughs> you really want to know? <laughs> Getting shook up over nothing. <laughs> 